Yitashimase. Hello and welcome to Fataris' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Fataris. It's time once again for Shoot 'em Up Saturday. And this week, I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. On the menu, we have Interpose Xmas Greetings, the 1996 Christmas themed demo for DOS game Interpose. What kind of taste will it have? Let's get cooking and find out. From developer Twilight Zone Software and publisher Webfoot Technologies, Interpose Xmas Greetings would release for DOS PCs in 1996, the same year as the original title Interpose would come out as well. So, of course, this is the Christmas re-theme of the game Interpose, and Interpose is one that has a really interesting nostalgia for me. I played the demo shortly after it came out, and I really had a great time with it. Years later, after I started my channel and doing Shoot 'em Up Saturdays, I tried to remember the game, and I did not have an easy time finding out or remembering the title and finding information about it because, truthfully, Interpose is a relatively obscure DOS shoot 'em up, and at this point, it's uh, abandonware. So, if you're interested in playing this demo, it should be relatively easy to find. And of course, we're looking at it today on DOSBox. So, I wasn't actually aware the game had a Christmas themed demo until last year, 2019. The technology slash video game reviewing channel LGR featured it on YouTube, and it was one that was like, oh wow, that's really awesome. Of course, I had other games lined up to do last year, so I didn't cover it for Christmas at that time, but I did want to still take a look at the game myself. So, diving into the game itself, First off, we enter our player name. We'll just go with my short version, Fit. And selecting our difficulty, we'll just keep things casual and go easy. We have our little story blurb here. Attention, the evil scientist Atnis Slack has constructed his own Santas and reindeers. He's on his way to take over Santa's home at the North Pole and misdirect all the Xmas gifts. Your mission is to stop him before he reaches his goal. So, really admirable goal. We're out to stop this evil scientist from defeating like, or taking over like uh, Santa's... like. Uh, Workshop? Yeah, that's what it's called. Anyway, so the game itself has a lot of really nice uh, pre-rendered um, cutscenes, and the sprites are th like 3D pre-rendered as well. Uh, it gives it a rather distinctive feel. The gameplay, it's a horizontal scrolling shoot 'em up and of course being the Christmas themed demo, everything you see here is re-themed uh, in uh, Christmas veneer. So we're fighting these like uh, robotic uh, reindeer. Uh, a lot of our enemies are Christmas ornaments uh, for our power-ups. They appear as presents that we shoot and get. And th this game actually has like a lot of power-ups and a lot of uh, upgrades. If you're playing the full version of the game, the demo itself is a little more limited that way. Uh, but if you're interested in uh, playing it, there's actually quite a bit. So like this here will upgrade our shot quite a ways. So we're destroying all these sh stars, these robotic Santas, like uh, taking damage. So the game does have life, but in addition to that, it also has a shield system, which we can see down there below. So depending on if we get hit by an enemy or if we take enemy fire, the shields will drop. But as you might have noticed, uh, one thing that we get as we defeat enemies is money, and it's important to pick up money as that will play uh, greatly into one of the things that I had a lot of fun with and I, why, why I remember this uh, shoot 'em up so vividly from uh, my earlier years. So we continue to work our way through this uh, Christmas landscape, collecting money, shooting down the ornaments, uh, we do have sub weapons as well, and we've picked up some uh, this like missile that we can fire here. There's other sub weapons that we'll like uh, gain throughout the course of our gameplay, and here we come up on the part the reason we've been collecting money, a shop. So if you land in the shop, we're taken to the shop screen here, and there are a couple really important elements here. Uh, most importantly, Mr. Weapon, but also over here on the right, we've got Try Your Luck. Jackpot. For some reason, I don't know why, but 
I just loved this when I was younger, and to be all fair, I still really enjoy virtual uh, gambling as well, so if the game's got like slot machines or something like that, at the very least I'm going to be giving it a few spins. So you can decrease your bet from the maximum 500 or increase it, and then spin. And of course we're hoping to win so we can uh, get more money that we'll ultimately spend on upgrades in the Mr. Weapon. So Mr. Weapon is your shop portal for all your weapon needs. So like here, we can upgrade our shield, which is not actually a shield upgrade. This is a shield refill, but that's just the way that it's leveled. Let's see, labeled. So you, the maximum shield is 255. We're at level five, which means we're basically dead. So we'll spend the money to fill that up. You can see it deducts our cash. There's all these great upgrades and some of them aren't available um, in the, the demo version, which is unfortunate as there's actually a lot of uh, interesting options that the game has for different weaponry. Uh, we will take the opportunity to pick up some more of the powerful anti-air missiles as they'll prove useful throughout the course of our run. So we'll buy a better stock of that. Um, well, let's go to 10. And we'll exit. Then there's this terminal will take us back to the game itself. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with that slot machine in particular when I played the demo, trying to get as much money as possible and upgrade my fighter by buying uh, the best um, speed and uh, firepower that you could get based off the money you could earn in uh, the slot machine. So. It was largely the slot machine that like kept this game in my like uh, mind, but I was also interested in the gameplay itself. So I like definitely appreciate revisiting this title all those years later, and um, well, specifically the Christmas theme. Um, so the game itself uh, has a really fun little like uh, medley of Christmas classics playing in the background and it also kind of brings uh, me to something that I want to like mention the uh, the music for the game itself specifically the title track that plays at the main menu is like a real like a uh, banger that I just like really enjoy just one of those like uh, tracks that uh, is kind of memorable uh, for being a, just a piece of like a uh, good music for a game that's like otherwise quite forgettable and uh, didn't receive the greatest like uh, critical praise, um, though it really does seem like uh, unwarranted as it really was a decent title for the era. It had a rather like difficult to support. Um, we'll just refill the shields real quick. It had a difficult to support. Um, uh, what am I like trying to say? A uh, difficult to support. Um, it was hard to purchase the game, as you had to either do it via mail order or phone order. Uh, it wasn't one that was sold in stores, and this was in the very, very early days of the internet. So I'm not sure how possible it was to even buy a copy online. Uh, I think that largely like uh, led to it falling into obscurity and ultimately becoming an abandonware. But the game does perform uh, pretty well under uh, DOSBox, and it's even uh, enjoyable being able to play the game using an 8-bit joystick. So, <laughs> like really, if you're looking for a quick Christmas-themed uh, game, this one's not a bad one to try. Uh, as far as minus flavors, I would say the platform is probably the biggest minus flavor. Having to play the game on a DOS emulator like DOSBox does make it a little bit more cumbersome than a lot of other titles that you could otherwise engage in. Um, and the gameplay itself can be a little bit g generic overall, but I do appreciate that it has the money system with the Mr. Weapon upgrade store and that slot machine for trying your luck, trying to spend the money you've got to hopefully increase your funds and get better equipment much faster than you would otherwise manage through the gameplay. 
Then on the plus side, well, I definitely have to say Merry Christmas. That's definitely the plus flavor here. Just a really fun little Christmas themed demo. It's short as we're actually nearing the end of the demo, but if for what it's uh, worth, it's just really enjoyable to sometimes take a moment, play something that's like fun and festive, and think about what you're thankful for in terms of the holidays. Uh, for one thing, with the holidays fast upon us, it uh, is a, uh, really easy to stop and like think, man, 2020 is finally almost over. And to be honest, for me personally, this has been a hell of a year, and I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, 2021 might bring going forward. So, there we have it. Interpose Xmas greetings served up for your enjoyment. I want to say once again, happy holidays to everybody. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And as always, I look forward to seeing you again next week. Merry Christmas.